I got the whole kit on one print plate. Let's see how good it prints. All right, well, here's our whole 143rd scale Ferrari. This is the whole kit printed all at once. Hopefully, I can get him off the supports easy enough. Carefully. I reduced the size of the supports to uh, 1.5, which it gave me a red, you know, red warning, but it seems to have held the place, parts in place, even these small pieces like these rotors. little brake calipers here. Can't believe this stuff printed. That's a windshield wiper. Holy cow. That's a windshield wiper and it printed. Let's see if I can get this other one off. A break in it. I did it. Focus. Yeah, into my brain. All right, let's take this body. I love you more. I do. So here I am pushing the limits of this printer just a little bit farther. This is 143rd scale. This is an Andre Bezrodny file. Look at the fine details up close. This is 143rd scale. You can actually see the print lines focused way in like that. I'm going to start holding with tweezers because these parts are so small. So here's our seat. Here's our dashboard. Interior with engine. Yes, the engine did print. Gorgeous. Center console. The shifter is there. Door panels. Look at our rear diffuser. I mistakenly printed it this side down. Should have done it this side down. Here's our wheels. Tiny lug nut detail in there. 
even the brake rotor is printed with the slots in them, as well as the cooling fins. Great calipers. And this blew my mind. Yes, that's a windshield wiper. So I showed Andre Bezradny the uh, 143rd, and he said, have you ever tried a 164th? So here is a 164th scale BMW M3. And I think this is about the limit of what the printer can do. It loses just a little bit of uh, sharpness at 164th scale. But it's still amazing, amazing detail even at this small. It's actually kind of hard to clean because you know you can't really get anything in there to, to scrub it with or anything. But yeah, look at the dashboard details. Oh, the bottom of the steering wheel kind of got whooped. But yeah, the little details on the dashboard and stuff. And even the exhaust is there. SRT Durango. Here's the interior for that. And of course the wheels. Sweet. Car wheels. Unfortunately, the Ford F-250 pickup truck, the interior didn't print. So, we got a body and some wheels. The fourth scale is just about the limit of detail that you can print at. Um, 132nd is, or 143rd is probably a little better. As you get smaller and smaller, the details just kind of get lost. So after printing Andre's file, I jumped down the small scale rabbit hole and I found this designer, Dirty Customs. He does a tomb style unicorn in 40 pieces. So here is the whole kit and Fifteen centimeters by seven centimeters. So I take back what I said about 164th scale is the smallest that you can go. Look at this detail. This is a, you know, it's a tuned car, but man. I gotta pick these up with tweezers because it's so damn small.
Look at this dashboard. It actually has numbers printed on it in the Speedo. Look at our intake trumpets. Our block. You ready? You ready for it? It does say for performance. This is an amazing model kit. Yes, they do say P0 on them. So yes, the printer can pick up the smallest of details if the file is right. So this is a snap together model kit. I would I would like to put it together, but I'm afraid that if I put it together, I can't put it, take it back apart. So I'm actually, I wanna assemble this someday and uh, maybe put it on my desk or something at work. But amazing, amazing stuff. This is another file by the same creator. This is a 164th scale K truck. But it's a pandem uh, wide body. So, you know, your normal kind of cool stuff. The engine is uh, mounted into the chassis. Yeah, big deal. But what's cool is look at the small details on this one. We got knobs. This one requires glue. Now snap together this time. Get the steering wheel. Check out the steering wheel. Here's our center console with shifter and emergency brake. Sport racing seats that do say bride on the top of them. Here's our spoiler. And the tires, if I do remember right. Yeah, they do say Toyo tires right on the side of them. Proxies. I did lose one mirror. Imagine that. I lost one of these. Here's our door panel. Amazing. So yeah, I'll be busy uh, building little cars. So what do you guys think of my experiment with the uh, tiny little cars? I think it's going to be fun to do something a little different than 124 scale. Maybe I'll even do large scale someday. Hmm. We'll try that. Anyways, um, stay tuned. I have another printing project coming up real soon. A friend of mine, Oliver from Olivizzle, he has a file that he's going to put out on Black Friday that he's given me advanced uh screening of and so I'm going to print it up and uh, we'll take a look at it before he, he releases it so until next time I'll see you in the next video bye you still here go ahead and order yourself a t-shirt hit the subscribe button and watch the next video thanks everyone bye